truly my brothers and sisters the closer you are to Allah the happier you will be when you make Allah happy you will definitely be happy point number one I raised is the issue of your conviction in Allah your faith in Allah your belief and your relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how is it We've heard that so many times. It means come to success. But when the caller appointed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is calling us to true success, we are heading in the wrong direction. We are going away. We are not particular with our prayer and our connection with Allah and we expect happiness. Can it come? Who is the owner of happiness? Is it not Allah? He's telling you, come, come to success. And what are we doing? We couldn't be bothered at times. A'udhu Billah. May Allah protect us. So when we search for that happiness with those who don't own it, it's like asking a beggar for a million dollars. But when you are asking the right one and when you're seeking it in the right direction from the owner of it, it's like asking a multi-billionaire for one cent. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open our doors. So my brothers and sisters, you want happiness? You need to develop your link with Allah. You need to improve yourself. When we have, for example, a happy day, a day of Eid, a day of a marriage and wedding, etc., etc. Make sure that we understand that happiness in the long term and the short term will only be achieved by making Allah happy on that day. Sometimes when we see these happy days, we cannot help but to ask ourselves, have we just intentionally displeased Allah here? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all and keep guiding us. Ameen. Secondly, remember your family is of utmost importance. Allah created you within a certain group of people. Allah made for you someone known as your father, your mother. They may be good people in a lot of cases, most cases perhaps. They may not be good people in some cases. They may be ridiculous in some cases. But Allah tells you, be kind to them. We made you. We know what you want. We know what you're looking for. You're looking for success and happiness, contentment. We're going to give it to you. But we want you to realize the channel through which we chose to bring you onto earth includes these parents of yours, your siblings, your relatives. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stresses this so many times, starting with the parents. Allah has declared and dictated, decreed that none shall be worshipped besides him and that you shall be kind to your parents. And the verses continue to say how you need to actually be kind to them. What that kindness entails, subhanallah. But what you need to know, my brothers and sisters, if you ignore the channel through which Allah has created you, how would you achieve happiness? So you may disagree with your parents on certain issues. You may if they are totally wrong, but you need to be respectful. You need to be kind. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if they are trying and striving to make you associate partners with Allah in the displeasure of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in that case, you turn that down. You don't accept what they're instructing you to do. But you keep on treating them with goodness, politeness, with that which, which is common, with that which is known as the treatment that parents should be receiving from you. Subhanallah. Without treating your parents and your family members in a good way, you're not going to be able to be happy. People are searching for happiness all over.